Hello everyone, this is Chris Halls with April Air. Welcome to my basement. With fresh air, ventilation being an important aspect of creating a healthier home, today we will be installing the 8140 NC ventilator. Just a quick recap, if you have heard one of our healthy air system webinars, or have even had the opportunity to meet with one of our district sales managers to talk about the healthy air system, back in 2005, ASHRAE, who helped set the guidelines to our industry, conducted a study on buildings and homes in controlling infectious diseases. With that study, it was found that a three-pronged solution of ventilation, high-efficient filtration, and controlling moisture was the best multi-pronged solution. But it was also found that fresh air ventilation is the best single solution. So fresh air from outdoors where the EPA says that the outdoor air is five times cleaner than the indoor air allows for dilution of the indoor pollutants and reduces CO2, which is carbon dioxide, which makes us feel tired and lethargic. With many of us working and schooling from home today, we are now more susceptible to these indoor pollutants and in some cases reducing our productivity. Today we will be installing the 8140NC, which stands for no control, to provide that positive pressure ventilation from a controlled single source. Where the air is brought in, it's very similar to having your window open, but it's even better. It's controlled and we filter the air not once, but twice. So the 8140NC has a washable filter, a power damper, powered blower, and includes a power cord, all in the box. Then once the air is brought into the unit, it's exhausted to the return air, which comes out the bottom here, and it's filtered again by the HVAC filter. So you may be asking, how are we gonna control this unit? So I'll be using my April Air 6000 series total comfort control that gives me complete access to operating the ventilator. Another option is the 8140, which is the same uh, has all the same components in the box as the 8140NC, but right here, instead of this terminal block, you would actually have the 8120X ventilation control. This control gives you simple, intuitive setup for every home along with outdoor temperature lockouts. Now my 6000 series control has all the same logic built into it. An added benefit to this ventilator is we have two pressure ports. So there's one on the top and one on the bottom here. And when we take these measurements and equate that, it gives us the true amount of air that is being brought into by the ventilation system. This is often the missing, missing reading that allows for proper minutes per hour of fresh air to a home. So I'll also be needing this six inch intake with a screen to protect for animals getting in and the six inch flex duct. So without further ado, let's get this unit installed.
All right, so we're wrapped up here. We got the unit all installed. Uh, just wanted to hi highlight a couple things for you guys. You can see we've got the unit mounted. We've got the intake coming in, all sealed. We've got the exhaust connected to the return air duct. High voltage line coming down, 120 volts. Units plugged in and our low voltage going over to the control, uh, interface control panel, the hub, which I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but we got the unit running and uh, I mentioned earlier one of the important features of the unit is that we're able to verify the amount of air coming in. So you can see I have the tubes connected going into old reliable, my magna helic gauge here. And you can see we're drawing about 0 0.35, 0 0.34, somewhere in that range. And if we look up onto the unit, we have a reference chart for you. And at point three, we would be drawing about 205 CFM. And at point four, we would be at about 175. So I'm gonna guess we're probably in that 190-ish, 195 range. And then when I go up to the control and set up the control, uh, I'll show you where we're gonna input that reading. All right, now on the interface control module or the hub, you're gonna see on, on the April Air 6000 series, if you're familiar with our 8920W, it's a very similar layout. But as I mentioned on the 8140 outputting the voltage, you can see that I have a simple dry contact vent connection here. So in running my two wire from the ventilator to the hub, I'm able to make the connection very simply. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the main control and we're gonna go into the parameters and set up the ventilation system. At the 6000 series zone one main control, you can see we're into the installer setup. I'm gonna go into the fresh air. We do have fresh air installed, so that's gonna be highlighted yes. Hit the next button. I'm gonna have the choice between code and comfort. Comfort gives us some added uh, features with relative humidity lockouts, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna st stick with code. I'm gonna set my number of bedrooms, which is four bedrooms, about 3,200 square feet. I'm gonna hit the next button. And this was that measurement that I was telling you about that's absolutely critical. Because with the measured CFM, the control, which whether it's this control or it's the 8120X, the calculation is based off of ASHRAE 62-2010. So it's looking at the number of bedrooms plus the square footage plus the CFM being measured and it's gonna calculate the minutes per hour. So you can see as I adjust the CFMs, which is the amount of air coming in, my time also changes. So if you remember downstairs, we measured 190 CFM. So with that calculation, it's gonna tell me that I need to run 22 minutes per hour to meet that ASHRAE standard. If I went up to 195, because we were right in between that 190, 195 range, you could see it didn't even change my time. So once I've got that set, go on to next, it's gonna give me some additional installer setups. I do have an outdoor temperature set. High ventilation, so outdoors temperature coming in with that outdoor temperature sensor. If I'm above 90 degrees, I'm gonna prevent ventilation during that time sequence. Same thing with low ventilation. So if I'm below 10 degrees in this situation, I will not allow ventilation for that sequence as well. Now, do I wanna engage the HVAC fan with a call for ventilation? And that's highly recommended because we use the HVAC blower to help pull that air in through the ventilator, even though the ventilator is a powered ventilator and is pushing the air through to the return, the HVAC fan will pull it in, will help blend that air, condition that air, take it through the filter as we talked to earlier as well, uh, to make sure that we are maximizing not only bringing the air in, but we are filtering it properly. Do I wanna have a reminder to clean my filter that's in there? Yes, and I'm gonna do mine every six months. So I have that set and then I'm all done. So now as it's loading up and it's, it's uh, saving those settings, when we get back to the main home screen, I will show you the fresh air tab and that will be where you would go if you had an event where you wanted to just bring in air for three hours on a call. If you wanted to bring a, a 24 hour event where we, we were just uh, wanting to make sure that we have fresh air coming in for a full 24 hours, 
but I'm gonna go to automatic because that's gonna be that's gonna run based on what we just set up. So once I've done that, I hit done, and now that timing sequence has begun.